Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about your mindset when it comes to losing weight. I didn't feel worthy. Do you? Hey Butterflies, let's just jump into it. Um. My last video, we talked about the finance part of not feeling worthy of being debt free. Um, and now I wanted to talk about something that is still connected for me is my weight. I didn't feel like I was worthy to lose weight. Now, it was a lot of things that was contributing to this. Um, to be honest with you, um, food has always been my comfort. Um, I can remember sitting in my mom's floor and eating a sleeve of Chip Ahoy cookies, like a sleeve. That was when they had the sleeve. You would open up one sleeve and you still had another sleeve and I would just eat, dunk milk and keep eating and then you would look and the whole roll was going gone. So I've always comforted myself with food. Um... I can remember somebody when I was in my 20s saying, oh, you're picking up weight. And I was like, no, I'm not. Now, I had struggled with weight all my life. Um, my mom was a fabulous cook. All of her sisters were. <laughs> they were just fabulous cooks. So, you know, we ate good. Um... She tried to be as healthy as she possibly could. It wasn't where it was, you know, just junks of food all the time. But we always had something sugary there. And I always had to eat all of my food before I could have dessert. So even when I was full because I wanted the dessert, then I would eat all my food. So um, that was another thing that I had to break because it's okay to leave something on your plate. Um, it's okay. So, as I was growing up and I moved to Atlanta, um, I graduated from high school. I moved to Atlanta and y'all, I was piss po, piss po, ain't no other way to put it, piss po. And I did not have any money and so I lost a lot of weight. Now, my mother was scared because I was in this big city and I had lost so much weight, she thought that I had caught HIV. And I'm not trying to make fun of that. My mother really thought and asked me, did I have that virus? Because, you know, it was so unfamiliar to everybody. Everybody was scared. And I said, no, ma'am, I'm just eating literally. I had a salad. Um, I had cereal in the morning. I did have enough money for that. And then I would walk to McDonald's, which helped you know, the walking, but they had the salads in these, almost like, um, the little, um, what do you call those things? Uh, F McFlurry cups. They had the salad in there and you would, in, in a dome and you would eat the salad. I didn't have any money, but I had enough saved out where I could get a salad a day and buy me a box of cereal and milk. I had to pay my rent and I was too proudful to ask my mom for money. If she sent it, that was one thing, but I was not gonna ask for it. So I just survived as I could. I lost a lot of weight, but probably not the most healthiest way. When I was working for the airlines, one of my friends says, oh my gosh, girl, you are picking up weight. Better watch it. I was like, I'm not picking up weight and it hurt my feelings. And I don't know, you know, my marriage was failing at that point. I got married, got divorced. And so the way that I coped with everything was eating. So that's what ended up happening. I ate my feelings. And as it continued, I never slowed down. So now, um, you know, this is not my first rodeo as far as trying to lose weight. Y'all know it. I know it. You know, we're not getting ready to try to sugarcoat that at all. But I did not feel like I was worthy of losing weight. Um, this fat suit that I have on, honestly, was a protector. 
um, it protected my heart from getting broken again. You know, when you've been married three times, you have a stigma. You have a stigma. A friend of mine and I, we were talking about that the other day. To say you've been married three, three times, it doesn't have anything to do with the guy as far as society is concerned. What did you do to mess it up? And, you know, I'm like, nothing. I did everything I possibly could, but nobody looks at it that way. So, you know, you just have to suck it up. And, or you decide that you don't want to talk about it at all. And so you can't be your authentic self because I am a proud woman that has done everything she can to make three marriages work and they didn't work and it's okay. And if you don't like it, well, okay, uh, get over it because this is who I am. Um, but I, you know, it was easier for me to keep this fat suit on so that I didn't get hurt anymore. It was easier for me to make Yeah, I've done everything. I've, I've hid food from my kids, you know, snacks. So, so they would eat them and then I would go and then I wouldn't have any. So I would hide them. Um, I, I've, everything you can think of, I've done it. Um, this time, I'm scared, honestly. I'm scared because I'm getting older. I know what my family history is. Um, one of my good friends, we've been ducking and dodging, um, getting diabetes forever. And he got caught. And it was the scare tactic that I needed. You know, I've been waiting for years for something that the doctor told me to scare me. Never came. Pam, you're borderline. Pam, your insulin's too high. Pam, you know, you need to work on this. But when my friend sent me the picture, and after we had our conversation, he sent me a picture of his supplies and that he had to stick himself every day. Yeah, scared the shit out of me. Let's just be honest. So now, um, I'm taking medication for high blood pressure and the side effects is that it makes your joints hurt. Well, when Janae was born, they put me on medication because they didn't want me to go back into postpartum depression. And I remember the same feeling of my joints just hurting. And I winged myself off and I felt 100% better. I literally, my mother who was in her 80s when she passed could have gotten up the steps quicker than me. And now I feel that same way. And I looked and guess what it is? It is the side effect of one of the medicines that I'm on. So that is my determining factor right now is to get off of this medicine so I can feel better. I don't. You know, I can't play with high blood pressure. It is what it is. My last doctor's visit, my cholesterol, which I've never had any problems with cholesterol, it was high. Um, I was now diabetic. He has not put me on medication. He has given me the opportunity to reverse this myself. And so I am meal prepping and I am... Um, doing what I need to do so therefore um, I can lose this weight. Now, is it going slow? Slower than I want it to. Do I want to jump on something that's going to make it go faster? Do I want to have one of these videos that says, you know, I dropped 30 pounds in, in 10 days? I do so badly, but I don't want it to come back. So a couple of things that I've changed up. I do meal prep. My commute used to be five or 10, 15 minutes at the most in my area. They changed our territory. So it's an hour there and an hour back. 
I do intermediate fast. So from 12 to 8, I eat. And then um, I, I'm in the, in the centers, you know. So um, because I'm in the daycare centers, by the time I get out, it's a little bit after 12. But the problem was I was stopping at the fast food places to get home because I had an hour back home. So now, today earlier, I did my uh, my little bento boxes and I, you know, make things that are finger foods that I can eat as I'm driving. It has worked out 100%. Like, it is, it, it has been the best thing. And I didn't do it last week, y'all. And I didn't make good choices last week. And I can tell the difference. You don't get anything else from this. Pinterest is your friend. YouTube is your friend. I save the videos from good recipes, um, from bento boxes, um, and <clears throat> I'll pin different things on my, my boards. So therefore I can go and look. So like today I had, um, a cucumber tuna Swiss bowl. So it's, I just cut the little cucumber in, in, I'll insert a picture y'all. <laughs> I just cut the, you know, slices, thicker slices. I take out the, the actual meat of the cucumber and then I made some tuna. I stuck, you know, put it down in the little bowl part where I, you know, dug out the, the meat and then I put a little Swiss. I got me a little cutter. They're cute. Um, a little round cutter because I was actually thinking I wanted to make some healthier versions of Lunchables because they're quick and easy to pick up as I'm driving. And um, so, you know, I'll insert a picture of it. Yeah, I, hopefully you guys will love it. Um, but, and, you know, cherry tomatoes. I made, uh, I got this mixture um, and I'll link it below, but I got it off of Amazon that helps you keep slices of... Um, if y'all hear, that's probably Dre, but you can have slices of apples and you put it in this, um, it's a natural mix and it will keep your apples, um, from going, turning brown and your pears and I think celery and something else, but it will keep them from turning once you actually cut them. And so I'm going to try it out. I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Um, and then what else? Oh, my energy bites. Those are perfect. Um, that's just peanut butter, dark chocolate morsels, uh, coconut, honey, and um, old-fashioned oats. And all of those have different um, health benefits. And you can have, I, I usually only do three, uh, but it tapers off my sweet bites. And um, maybe I'll do a, you know, like a favorites of different foods and maybe share those with you guys. Um, but, you know, I, I love my bento boxes. The other thing is, is that I don't stop by. If I'm going to go out to eat, I'm going to go out to eat where I can sit down at a table and then cut half of it in half. Take Before they even you sit it on the table good, I'm asking for a to-go box and I divide the food in half and take the other half home. I eat what I'm going to eat with my friends because normally I'm not sitting there by myself. I'm, you know, eating with somebody else. And then I take it onto the house and be done with it. Um, but I don't want to go around at a drive-thru. I just don't want, one, it's, it was wasting money. Two, I was getting bigger. And three, it wasn't doing anything for my psyche at all. Um, and so my mind frame was, what can you do to make this better? Um, the other thing was that you know, I drink mm, uh, at least a half a gallon of water, trying to get up a little bit higher, but at least a half a gallon. So thus far, I've only lost five pounds. And I say only y'all because I haven't, it. it's not that I'm not excited about the five pounds um, since I've been really looking and trying to do this, but I was weighing myself every two weeks. And because I knew I wasn't weighing myself for another two weeks, I would kind of play Russian roulette. I would be like, oh, I can have that because I got another week before I weigh in. So I'm going back to weighing once a week. So therefore, I eat my bento box. I got to remember last week I didn't meal prep. And I 
don't know what I did, honestly. But I only lost 1.3 pounds, but that was for a two-week span. Now, am I glad we're going in the right direction down? Absolutely, I am. I'm not taking anything from that. But I just want you to be mindful is that I should have lost that one to two pounds in one week and not in two weeks. Okay? So I know, you know, I have to figure out what works for me. I'm going to go back to weighing myself once a week. I'm going to at least drink one half gallon of um, water a day. And I drink more than that because I usually have my lemon water in the morning, hot lemon water, and I take apple cider vinegar. Um, I've been consistently taking it in the morning. I want to take it one in the morning and one in the evening. Um, I take two tablespoons. I take it as shots. I don't, you know, let it touch my teeth. It goes straight back like a shot. And the only reason I do that is, is because to sit and dilute it, it just took too long for me. I would rather drink it, go ahead, drink water behind it, and brush my teeth and be done with it. Um, I noticed that it does help with my um, my sugar levels. I can tell that if my sugar is out of whack for whatever reason and I take some apple cider vinegar, it regulates it quite quickly. So I have to, you know, do what works for me. Now, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. I'm none of those things, guys, and I'm not claiming to be. I am sharing what worked for me. If you can take what you want from it and what you don't need from it, you know, just, you know, let it go out one ear and it's okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have been doing. Um, I love CNC TV. She has no earthly idea who I am. But she lost a hundred, um, a hundred pounds, a hundred plus pounds, and um, she was telling us about Fit by Ashley. And me and my girls are getting here, and we'll dance. I have a playlist on YouTube that are exercise videos that are five minutes or less. So we might be doing level up, level up. <laughs> we might be doing that, or we might be doing um, Bruno Mars, you know, and just dancing and having a good time. And so I've had my girls join me and, you know, we'll put Dre because he'll be crawling around and we done stepped on the pole, baby. So we'll put him in his high chair or his bouncer and, but, you know, we'll be going at it, you know, enjoying ourselves. So that has been really, really fun. Um, and so those are the things that I'm incorporating because I had to change my mindset to be able to know that I am worth this. I had to realize that I am worth being healthy. I'm worth being smaller. I don't feel I don't feel comfortable in this fat suit any longer. I haven't felt comfortable in this fat suit in a while. But to be honest with you, just everything that was going on in my household, bottom line is, and at work, I needed something and so food was it. But this wrong food is killing me. It's killing me. So I had to make a decision. What is it? You know, you're going to eat something that's going to be temporary or are you going to do something that's going to benefit you? Now, I'm not saying that I'm never going to have Dairy Queen again because I've had it this week. I divided that up also <laughs> over two days, um, but I can't have it every day. I'm not going to tell you I'm never going to eat pasta again because that's a lie. I'm not going to tell you that I'm never going to a restaurant. That's a lie. But what I am going to do is make smart choices. So if I want something sweet, then guess what? Crystal was talking in CNC TV. Um, and she has no idea who I am, but I love you, girl. You have been such an inspiration to me. Y'all check out her channel below. I'll go ahead and link it below. She is such a sweetheart. Um, but she gave me another good idea. She has um, found these Fiber One um, little brownies. And I love chocolate. So they've got little chocolate morsels in it, but there's only 70 calories. There's only two grams of sugar and five grams of carbs. You can't beat it. And it's the smallest thing that you blink, it's gone. I'm just telling you, do not get a fork, do not get a spoon, don't get anything because you got two fingers. And by the time you do that one good time, it's over with because it's so tiny, but it, curves my appetite, my sweet tooth, 
and you know I can move on with my day. Another thing that I try to make sure that I do, I don't eat sweets before I get ready to go to bed. I noticed that my sugar would be out of whack. So I, if I'm going to eat it, I eat it after like my first meal. The dogs are scurrying around if y'all hear them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my only goal with my channel is to be a beacon for somebody. Just one person and I'm okay with that. I just want to let each and every one of you know that I truly appreciate you tuning in. You don't have to. You could be doing anything else on this day, but you chose to be here. So I do appreciate you so very much. Um, and I also want you to know that, you know, here is a safe place. I just want all of us to be mindful of that. I have not had, I don't think I've had anybody that has just been totally disrespectful or anything. So I do appreciate that. Um, I just want us to be able to have a safe place to be able to talk and to enjoy each other. And so there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave them below. I am hoping that if you have not subscribed, that you will after this video. We would love to have you a part of the Butterfly family. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so it will let you know exactly when I upload another video. And of course, make sure that you do a thumbs up. And until next time, Butterflies, love you.